color it is. No, yeah. Um, it, yeah, it's kind of hints of black under there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's going to take Golden some black, you know. to see. What year is it? What model? 83. Okay. Yes. And it's been the family for a while? It's been yours for a while? Yeah, so um, my dad bought it. It was 83. He bought it in 1984, so just a year later. Somebody had it for like a year, put a few thousand miles on it, and that was it. And it only has 26,000 miles. Wow. Now, yeah, so it's still a little miles. And the, that's all original, authentic miles? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So he didn't drive it much. He bought it in 84. He put on like 20-something thousand miles, and that's really been it. Has there been any engine work done? Oh. Yeah, it has some stuff now. It had um, the original motor when we finally got it started again. We heard a rod knock, unfortunately. Oh, no. So um, we went to the summit right there in Talmadge. So we put a 355. Uh, oh, sweet. And then we put FI Tech on it. Oh, so it's actually... Yeah, it's, oh. it's fuel injection that like, uh, looks like a carburetor. Oh, that's kind cool. Of. I didn't even know they made something like that. That's, yeah. that's amazing. I want to get these T-tops off. Yeah. Put my jean jacket on with my aviators and go cruising. I'm so Heck ready. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we're super excited. Uh, that That's the goal then is after we, we clean it up to Start you can't even see town. the T-tops, you know? Yeah. You really Definitely want to rip it around town. Yeah. Yep. It's going to be a nice cruiser for sure. Any car shows coming up that you think you might take Always it on down to? Always going to the car shows. Nice. Yeah, I mean, if it was ready, like you said, we're going to Ocean City, like it would be nice to take this thing. We want a reliable cruiser just to be able to go wherever. Right. Yeah. We're going to make it happen <laughs> awesome. for you. Awesome. So thank I can't you for wait. the voucher confidence. And, yeah. Uh, you guys are going to want to stay tuned for this one. And before we even started pulling the car out, they wanted to show us their shop in the back, which the first thing we saw when we walked in was a supercharged. Cadillac CTSV with a thousand horsepower. And then they were showing us their built Firebird. Good lord. <laughs> oh, wait, it's a no time car. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. And lastly, you have a classic, the GT500. If you know the year of this car, leave it in the comments below. But right before we pulled the Camaro out, they wanted to see if we can get it to start. I mean, even just picking up a car, we never know what we're gonna get to see. And it makes what we do so unique. But as we started pulling it out, we got a real feel of what this car actually looked like with the dust. And it almost looks fake because of how perfectly it sat flush on the car. I mean, as the car started coming out and I started walking around it, you can see how perfectly this dust looks after collecting over the years to where it almost looks like the color of paint on a car. And I can't really explain how it happened, but it looks so cool. And I do want to say, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, we're almost at 570,000. We're very close. So hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on your notifications because we have so many cool videos coming up. All right, I want you guys to look at these wheels. If you know what car they're from, leave a comment, but also if anyone can explain why they would be on this car, please help me understand.
All right, now that the car rinsed off, we're gonna go ahead and clean the engine bay and we're gonna start by covering these holes in the FI Tech and then we're gonna pressure wash everything down, use our degreaser on it with our soft bristle brushes and then spray it away. And I want you guys to leave a comment if you know what engine's in this car by looking at it. We want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, BetterHelp. Now, if you guys have been following this channel for a while, you know I'm very open about mental health, but specifically my mental health. I personally deal with anxiety and panic disorder, and I've never said this publicly, but the reason that I started WD with RJ is because I used to watch detailing videos to help calm my anxiety and panic disorder, and I thought if I could help even one person by making videos like this, that's all I really cared about. And throughout the first year of making these videos, my anxiety heightened to probably the worst it had been to the point where I almost had to leave the channel and that all changed when my mom introduced me to my therapist that I still have to this day through BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online which for me was important because I didn't feel comfortable going into someone's office and talking to them face to face. Anytime I tried that I couldn't focus on our sessions because I was having major panic attacks and I couldn't progress my recovery. But with BetterHelp, you could tap into their network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who could genuinely help you with a wide range of issues. When you get started, you just answer a couple questions about your needs and your preferences in therapy, and they'll help match you to the right therapist. Then you could talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's over the phone, text, chat, or video call. And if your therapist isn't the right one for you, you can switch to a new one with no additional charge. I don't care what anyone says, I believe everyone can benefit from having a therapist. So get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash WDDetailing. I've also linked them in the description below. That's betterhelp.com slash WDDetailing. I really hope that us working with them helps at least one of you guys and you take advantage of this. And with that being said, let's hop back into the detail. So at this point we foamed down the car and we started washing it and then we prepped it for polishing later so we did an iron decontamination followed by a clay bar but before polishing it we did the interior and that's where we found a nice little surprise underneath the back seat.
Now we're moving on to probably the most satisfying part of the whole process with the extraction. And a lot of times people ask us what we do, so we'll just put the carpet soap in the carpet, and we'll use our drill brush to agitate it into the fibers. And then our extractor has only hot water in it, and we'll use that to suck it all out and get it as dry as possible. Now for the rest of the interior cleaning here, I'm going to turn the music way down and give you guys the ASMR sounds. Let us know if you like that down below or by liking the video.
So we just thought we would try that out. Let us know your thoughts down below. But moving on, we got a request from the customer that RJ is going to tell you a little bit more about right now. So unfortunately, the trim and the adhesive that had held the trim on has since fallen off and left this gluey residue on the paint and the owner asked me if I could remove it. Now, it tends to be a pain in the butt in order to get this removed completely. So the best method that I found aside from a rubber wheel, which I tend to not like to use uh, because it can heat the paint up and burn through it, is I use a plastic razor, steamer rather, and what I'll do is I'll heat it up. Now I'm sure you're wondering, well, doesn't that scratch the paint? It absolutely does, but we're going to have to even scratch it further using some sandpaper and a sanding block. And this is gonna help us to get those real tight areas that I can't get my razor blade flat on. So I'm gonna sand this down, and then I will polish it, and it will look close to like new. You can actually see where the adhesive etched in a line into the into the actual paint of the car. But, gotta do what you gotta do. And for the rest of the paint, he went ahead and used a microfiber pad on an orbital polisher and then followed that up with a red pad on the dual action polisher to get a nice clean finish. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because next week's video, we found something in a barn that was completely destroyed and we brought it back to life. And not only that, it's a very cool American car. So you guys don't want to miss that. Make sure you subscribe.